good morning guys and it truly is a good morning because I literally thought we were about to miss this flight we woke up we left an hour and 45 minutes early for the airport and we were still almost late it took yeah like we were stressing going through security our bags might not even be on the same flight but we made the flight and that's all I can ask for so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now because oh, Man, this, this has been stressful. So if you guys care, just, just quick, just quick thumb. But besides that, sit back, relax, enjoy this video, dude. Are you the owner of Versus Enigma? I, I've seen you on Instagram. Bro, Hayden was really just talking about buying a cocktail on the plane. But you got you got thirty dollars to spend. It's thirty bucks. No, I'm just playing. But something obnoxious like that. It's fucking that. stupid. Actually, I think the this is the beverage menu. We made it and we are alive. But we have. I don't know, like an hour and a half to kill before we're allowed to check in our Airbnb. So we're here at Kroger to get groceries and whatnot while we're staying. And we have all of our luggage. So Hayden thought it'd be a great idea if we wheeled them around in the shopping carts. So we're going to load these up. We're still going to buy groceries, but probably get some weird looks in the meantime. I mean, it's not like I'm talking to a camera in the process of doing this. Fuck. <sighs> All right, let's see what we get. So there's a lot of s stressful stuff that's been happening this trip that I haven't really filled you guys in on yet. So first and foremost, our original Airbnb that I purchased two months ago canceled like two days ago. So I had to find a new Airbnb. And after I already confirmed it, I realized that it didn't have a full kitchen. It just has a microwave and a fridge. So during our little grocery run, we had to keep in mind that we aren't able to actually cook. So I got a couple different things. We got these uh, Kodiak Cakes oatmeal. You just add water and microwave them real easy. So I got two of those. A couple monsters because caffeine's gonna be my best friend, especially right now. I'm gonna be burnt out. Um, got some vanilla Greek yogurt, so obviously that requires no cooking. We got some egg whites, because honestly you can just throw them in a cup and throw them in the microwave and they'll cook up. We got this uh, pre-cooked roasted chicken, so it's already pre-sliced and everything. So there's only two fat, zero carb, 16 protein in So that's definitely gonna help out, and if I wanna have it warm, microwave. So I got two packs of those. And then finish off, we got two packs of these basmati, uh, like minute rices or whatever they are. So that's gonna be kind of what we're gonna eat until we actually get to show day. And then right after show day, I'm going to binge. But yeah, we're gonna wait on our Uber right now and head to the Airbnb. So let's go. To keep going on the topic of things being stressful and whatnot, um, we got to our Airbnb and our host didn't give us any information on how to get in or any of the check-in instructions which i've never had to go out of my way to contact any of my hosts before so that was a little frustrating kind of stressful because i thought like oh hey maybe these guys just screwed me they didn't thankfully but this is our airbnb so walk in this cute little hallway here We've got this nice little like, welcome sign all this little decor got this Pretty little mirror, get some selfies or something later. Got a nice little laundry room, although all my laundry's clean, but you never know. You come into this main area here, you got the couch, the bed, TV, and whatnot. Wow, the wide angle really helps for this. <laughs> got our microwave and everything, a little desk, I guess. Got this cute ass boy. He doesn't come hey, with the room though. Unfortunately, I'm not included. We got our fridge full of our crap. A pretty big closet, actually. I'll give them that. This is a nice closet. It goes all the way to that other door. And this super cool bathroom, which, funny enough, the bathroom's what I care about. 
So we got these nice marble counters and this really big shower. Super nice, just glass. Really cool. I I love cool showers. Like me and Hayden were literally just talking about that. But yeah, this is this is the Air Boom B. Air Boom B. Alright, so we got Abayami coming in one minute. You all ready, sir? I'm ready. Alright. Walk out there. How's your day going, man? Good, good. I'm sorry? Officially, yeah. Um, kind of. You want to tell them why we're getting another lift? It's not my fucking fault, alright? Even if I had my wallet, it still would have been fucked. We got to 24. Hayden didn't bring his wallet. So then the girl at the front desk grabbed the big boss and he pretty much just shut us down, screwed us. So we, we're not allowed in the gym. And Alpha Elite's far as fuck, so we weren't gonna go there in the first place. But now, at this rate with the lifts and the Ubers, it's might as well have gone there in the first place. But now we're going to Planet Fitness up the road because Hayden has a membership of Planet Fitness and we should be able to get in with his barcode that he called to get, but yep. We're still gonna get this lift in though, because I still have to do cardio for thir at least 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think this is our ride. Chevy Malibu fits the description. Let's go spend more money on fucking Ubers. <laughs> this is Lyft, okay? It's or different. I'm not gonna lug this thing around because if you guys know, Planet Fitness is kind of weird. Uh, with the rules and whatnot, so we are gonna switch to the iPhone camera. So we're gonna be filming on this for the remainder of like this workout, and then we'll jump back just in case you guys even care. Today we're just gonna do a full body or full upper body workout. So we're just getting a blood pumping, pretty much every muscle, upper body. Um, we're not going for any crazy PRs. We're not trying to gain any muscle. Honestly, at this point, we're just trying to maintain where we are get the blood pumping that way we get a pump or at least try because it's like depleted carb state. So right now we're doing some pull-ups. Really try to sweat off any extra water, anything that I obtained through all the traveling. Like on the plane, you get really bloated and you pull water a lot. So try to just ditch as much of that as I could, you know. But now I am completely disgusting, so we need to go home and take a shower. So when I first got into this whole fitness, competing body, men's physique thing, there was a lot that I didn't know because obviously there's a lot that goes into this you know I I'm trying to share everything as best as I can with you guys and this next thing that I'm about to do is one of those those things that um, that I didn't know about in the beginning and it involves all of these things so I'm about to shave my entire body why is that you might ask there's a couple different reasons so, tomorrow, I have to go get this super dark, sticky, disgusting just, uh, spray tan. Um, and the reason being for that spray tan is when you're standing on a bodybuilding stage, there are bright lights above you, super bright. And unless your skin tone is extremely dark, you're gonna get washed out by those lights. And then the definition of your muscles goes away. Um, so you shave all of the hair off your body for that tan to stick better to you. And then also 
with no hair, you your body becomes more defined. Everything becomes more defined. The problem is I just I don't really have that much body hair, so it's kind of annoying. But yep, sorry, mom. I'm about to shave my legs. <laughs> I'll show you guys what's up when I'm done. And that is the end result. I have a lot of scars, but wow, yeah, there's no hair left. That's crazy. Um, so honestly, I was, I still have more to do. I still have like my forearms, so my face. I don't really have that much hair on my chest or anything, so we'll, I might skip that. But my legs themselves took like what, like an hour? At least an hour. At least an. Like I was in the shower. Like I was getting so pruny, and I was just. I was over it so it took a long time and I have like this newfound respect for women or I guess men that shave their legs you know we don't we're not biased here but I'm taking a break and I'm gonna get back to it later and do the rest of my body I still haven't eaten since we went to the gym I was like I don't know a couple hours ago so I'm gonna whip up some dinner real quick so we have this whole packet of chicken that we got at Kroger earlier that I showed you guys. Then I also have this basmati rice, which we may or may not eat all of it because that is a lot of carbs and we're two days out from the show. But that's going to be my dinner and that's going to wrap up my meals for the day. And it's also going to wrap up this video. So if you enjoyed it, again, hit that thumbs up. If not, don't watch my videos. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.